Yeah, yeah, I've got time. Welcome back to the 20 Minute Gamer channel, everybody. I'm your host, Nick, and this is Lens Island. Now, I've been playing Lens Island, and I've had it in my library for actually quite some time. I've spent hours playing it. It is the type of game that you can very easily get lost in. There is a gameplay loop that it fashions where it's a very mindless gameplay loop. And I don't mean mindless in a negative way. You know, some games are a very dumbed down version of themselves. And it's really easy to just play them and be like, okay, like this is stupid. The gameplay loop is the same. It's boring. Well, Lens Island is not like that. There is a gameplay loop that is incredibly satisfying, and that is what keeps me coming back to it. Now, Lens has recently come across an update that I wanted to showcase here and kind of bring forward if it's not a game that you have heard of or if you haven't played it recently as well. So very small developer community for Lens and the game is in early access. It's not fully released, but we're going to go ahead and look at all of that. What is Lens? So Lens Island is your atypical survival type game. You're going to go through the island. You're going to chop down trees. You're going to uh, chop down blueberries and strawberries. You're going to get food. You're going to be able to build things like this cabin in the background. Yeah, you'll be able to go ahead and build all of that stuff. And then as you continue to mine and upgrade your backpack and storage capacity, you'll be able to upgrade the type, right? So they have wood now, but then you can get like plaster molding, siding and things like that. So it has your grassroots survival element, which the gameplay loop that they implement here is just it's a very therapeutic and a very relaxing type gameplay. I, I don't know how better to describe it. I can literally just get lost in chopping trees down and wandering around Lens Island. It is a great, great game. Now, where does Lens begin to branch off from other survival type games? Lens begins to branch off in the fact that it's also a dungeon crawler. That's right. It has Diablo roots in it as well. Diablo, Sacred, Path of Exile, whatever whatever type of uh, dungeon crawler you want to try and compare it to, it has those roots as well. So there is a cave entrance, and in your survivability mode, there is a way for you to get a forge and trade with people and upgrade your items, get health potions and things like that. So Lens capitalizes on that survival aspect as well as going through the dungeon mode and fighting hordes of creepy spiders and little goblin things, right? Whatever creatures they want to classify them as, you know, they're, uh, they're these crab looking uh, face hugger things like from Half-Life, right? So Lens also capitalizes on a dungeon crawling aspect. So it's got the best of both worlds. It has that action RPG style gameplay if you're looking for. But if you're also just like, hey, listen, I've got 20, 30 minutes. I really just kind of want to chop down some trees, mine some limestone, get some ore and, you know, build up my surplus. You can do that, too. You can also then jump in. Hey, I've got 20, 30 minutes. I want to do some hack and slash. Let's get into it. Well, Guess what? Lens has you covered there as well. So we're going to go ahead and just jump into the play game portion here and create our character in real time. Uh, world name, uh, we'll just call it Greystone. I don't know why. I don't know why Greystone. It just came to my mind. Uh, standard, standard survival game, okay? Now, this is your character, Len. Len, uh, how do you control him? WASD or mouse? I prefer mouse myself. I recommend you try both. You can change it in the options. You're not locked into choosing mouse over WASD. Controller support is coming. They've said that multiple times in their Discord, but it doesn't look like it's been released yet. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. Then, where is Len from? The Jaro Island, Zengard City, Acacia Plains, or the Garth Hinterlands. Now, all of these are basically just going to be your race or skin color or creed. Now, Jaro is going to be kind of your Anglo-Saxon white guy. Okay, Zengard City, a little bit darker. I imagine this could be kind of your Middle Eastern or maybe even Hispanic Mexican uh, cultures. Acacia Plains, uh, here you're going to be maybe Middle Eastern Africa. And then the Garth Hinterlands, this is probably going to be closer to your 
Well, I'm going to say the Garth Hinter lens is, is one of two things. It's either pale skin enough where you can kind of capitalize on those uh, more Asian societies, maybe a Japanese or uh, Chinese fair skin societies, or uh, with as pale as the skin is, I imagine you could also maybe say, hey, Irish Scottish maybe. Now, I'm going to go with the Jaro Islands just because myself personally, I fancy myself as just more of a plain skin white guy. So uh, we're going to go and go with that masculine or feminine. Now, the only thing that's really going to change majorly is the jawline. I believe the hairstyles are transferable between masculine and feminine. I'm going to do masculine. Len does not wear shoes. You have two options, no and definitely not. So we're going to go with no, I guess. All right, so let's uh, let's kind of pick some hair. Uh, I guess we'll do some brown hair there. Uh, we'll do that blue shirt. And I guess we'll do like some chinos, <laughs> I guess. Let's do it. Let's jump into it. A really important aspect of Lens is that there's other villages that you can trade with. You can build farm. You can uh, you can build farms. You can harvest blueberries, strawberries, flowers, whatever. And you can you go ahead and utilize all of that in your trading aspect. So it has that survivability element as well. Um, but uh, your once safe home was destroyed by the voids, the mysteries of darkness that drives them is yet to be uncovered. No one understands its power or where it came from. You are ferried to the forgotten island where the light stone rush began, hoping to build a new life. All right, so here is Len. So you just right click on the mouse. That's going to take your character wherever you want him to go. Left clicking is going to be your action sequence. And of course, the minute that you engage, it's going to go ahead and want to break this down for you. So each time you trigger a critical hit for more damage, you can deal more damage timing your hits instead of holding down to auto hit and uh, basically clicking during a critical window. So I will, uh, I'll kind of go, go ahead and showcase that here so you can see as I, as I strike a white ring appears if i'm good i should be able to click at the peak of that white ring and it will go ahead and offer my character a critical strike ability which is just going to go ahead and do a little bit more damage so i'll kind of showcase that here on the tree so you can see we're hitting for six six damage each time we hit the tree now when we get that critical strike we do add plus Plus two extra, right? So, um, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be that way for everything. Uh, I, admittedly, the sword is a little hard to track at times for me. You just kind of have to learn. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I had three in a row. Uh, I guess uh, managing your backpack. We'll go ahead and look at that here as well. When you press tab, that goes ahead and pulls up your backpack. You have a couple of things. You have skills, you have construction, and then of course you have everything that's in your backpack, okay? So you have seeds, you have your food and farming, you have things that you've cooked, you have things you've caught, you have things that you've mined. So you can see we've already picked up 19 logs. We have plant fibers that we can utilize for like lashings on roofs and things like that. And you basically compile all of this into your backpack. So your backpack is with you all the time and it's just a rolling inventory, okay? Now you get other things like clay and coal and stone and limestone. These are all things that you can wind up mining and tearing apart with your with your axe. You can actually see here there's some glass. Uh, so we picked up some glass right there. You can see we picked up two. And you'll see these glass bottles all along the beach. Yeah, it's probably uh, it's not sanitary. But <laughs> you know what? Uh, this is Lens Island, not our island. So I... Look at these guys. What are you doing? What are you doing? Little hermit crabs? I'm hungry. Feed me. All right. So we have a couple of objectives that we want to do to get started. Constructing a house, placing a bed, build a workbench, explore the map. Uh, map. Uh, explore the map and visit the mayor. Okay. Now there's a couple of things that you have to take, uh, take into consideration as well. Uh, we have our sword or dagger, we have an axe, and then we also have a pickaxe. Now each particular 
tool or weapon is specifically used for a specific task. I cannot use my axe to attack this this ore, all right? It just it doesn't work that way. So I've got to use my pickaxe. So we'll go ahead and do that. And the forge option offers you the ability to increase the grade or quality of the tools or weapons that you that you use okay so you can get um steel forged iron forged bronze forged i it's i, I know that there's been a few updates and i'm a, a little bit behind but that's how it was before so as you get your forge and as you mine and as you create new compounds you have the ability of being able to actually smelt and upgrade the overall quality of your tools and weapons i'm just going to go ahead and kind of punch through all this and there is a there is a map now so we'll go ahead and hit this explore the map and what do we want to see uh, it looks like there's something over here they want us to look at so we'll go ahead and head that way Lens has just a great environment. I love the art. I love the music as well. They've done an absolutely amazing job with bringing this to life. Map updated. Oh my. Oh, there's some things there. All right. All right. Well, let's go check it out. Let's go look at it. Remember, of course, if you like what you see, if you want to keep seeing this type of content, please like, comment, subscribe. I know that we have a lot of games that we are continuing to push forward, and I am not opposed to locking in on one game. I'm also not opposed to showcasing a ton of random games as well. I want to be able to help you decide, is this the type of game I want to spend my money on, spend my time on, because that is what we are about. In this channel, we aren't necessarily just about locking in on one game, though I will do that and have done that. We are about finding games that, I guess, kind of build our library and give us something to enjoy in short periods short periods of time so it's uh, it's not just about um it's not just about one game that is a 20 minute game how many other types of games are out there that offer us this type of capacity so all right let's just kind of keep uh then we're going to get into our first little batch of combat here maybe what are we doing here is this where we need to be this is where we need to be. Let's pick up this glass. The space bar jumps as well, so you've got that going for you. Use air rolls to jump over long distances. Run and jump forward after you've left the ground. Trigger a roll. Ha! How do we do that again? There we go. What is this? It's more fibers. All right. There we go. Right on. All right, cool. So that was Q that we pushed to do that. We are uncovering a lot here. So we're going to basically this, and then roll like that. Pretty awesome. We'll figure this out together, everybody. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Really, though, look at this. I mean, it is just a beautiful piece of art, and it is just super relaxing. Your number keys as well, they... Um they allow you to swap between your tools or weapons. So we can just kind of keep doing that. All right. I feel like we want to go check out 
these multiple corners. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and keep doing that here. And then as far as constructing a house, it's not necessarily something I think that is that important. Uh, there are actually, believe it or not, plenty of buildings that are already pre-constructed that you should be able to take advantage of. And I highly recommend you do take advantage of them. Play around with them a little bit and add to them how you like, but they're a fine foundation. You know, not all of us are architecturally savvy and some of us build houses that look like our kids drew them with crayons. That's me, actually. Uh, seemingly, uh, I've actually lost a lot of my uh, artistic talent over the years and I, um, I just kind of make do with what I have now. So, uh, let's see here. We can actually go ahead and repair this. We can't, we can't repair this. Let's go ahead and chop some more shit down. We need more wood. Get this. This is a big one. And also, you gotta be careful chopping down these trees. There's bees, okay? I'm talking like Macaulay Culkin, my girl bees, all right? They exist. And I don't think that there's a way to see if there's bees. Beforehand, anyway, that is. Maybe there is. We'll go ahead and research that. We'll see. All right, we're full on wood. Let's go ahead and repair this bridge. Repaired. There it is. All right. So we'll go ahead and activate this. I mean, what a just a beautiful game. I just, I still keep coming back to this game and I am continually blown away by how beautiful it is. And it's developers like these that, you know, that they build these types of games these are who I want to support, you know, like. All right, let's go back to our map. We got a little bit more to go here. I want to try and complete all this while it's still daylight out, of course, as well. You know, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to get caught and wrapped up in, uh, in some bad times. Here's a little village. It looks like they have that. Uh, Bridgewater, it looks like, is the name of the village. This was not here before, actually. Back when I was originally playing, all of this was yours to, to play with, okay? Um, so we can talk to this guy. What do you got to offer? Hello, traveler. I'm just, how can I help you? Well, I'm just passing through, thanks. What is this place? This is Bridgewater. My name is Gerald. I'm the mayor of this corner of the world. If you're settling on the island, beware of the darkness that lurks beneath. Many travelers come to Bridgewater, but very few stay. Please donate any spare building supplies at the town notice board. We desperately need resources to rebuild and upgrade the town. If you help me build Bridgewater back up, I'll clear new plots of land for citizens to move in. Beautiful. Okay, so we can go here. And what do they need? They need... All right. So they need fiber. They need clay. They need stone. And they need wood. Uh, and these are, these are all things that we can kind of help them... Help them bring in. So that's, that's beautiful. That's really kind of cool. That was, uh, that was not there before. All right, we need to go north a little bit here. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, all right, so we are good. We got some bad guys here, okay?
These are the bad guys. Go. There's something in here. Let's uh, let's wander in. Let's go. See, there's a sword you can manufacture and build for your own needs, and we can get some coal here. There we go. Coal is useful for your forge. You're gonna have to come here and mine coal so that you can actually fuel your forge. I believe that you can use wood as well, but coal is going to be the better bang for your buck. All right, well, we're not gonna hang out here. I'm not comfortable yet in my particular experience level for this. So we're gonna go ahead and mosey on back to town and see what we can build for ourselves. All right, go where we need to go. I feel like there's something here that's calling to us, maybe, no? Got some pumpkins. You got to get those, uh, you got to get that timing right, you know, like that's... That's the hardest part, is getting that timing right. All right. So right out of the gate, this probably isn't going to be a 20 minute game in the capacity that we're still in the tutorial phase and we're coming up on about 23 minutes minus my little introduction, probably about five minutes. So, uh, yeah, you know, we got a little bit of uh, we got a little bit of some time ahead of us before we can find ourselves in a comfortable enough place that I would say, hey, listen, we're ready to just kind of log on and do what we want to do. Right now, we're still kind of in that forced transitional mode of, hey, learn how to do this stuff, get comfortable with it, and then you can kind of enjoy the game, right? So right now, we're hitting that 20-minute mark, and, um, you know, we got a little bit uh, a little bit of time to go. So I think what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and break it here, but I think we'll come back, we'll make a second video, and we will just work on building things up a little bit you know let's take another 20 minutes and see does this game just have a little bit more meat to its bones in regards to the tutorial so we'll be back with it though i appreciate you all joining me on this game lens island is what it's called again i'll go ahead and link a copy of the steam uh, I'll go ahead and uh, link a copy of the Steam location in the description as well. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. So you stay, uh, stay safe out there. All right, everybody. Nick out.